Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie, and I'm so excited tonight because tonight we are starting a new category on my channel. We are going to be starting some short reading comprehension exercises. So I've been wanting to start this for a long time, and we are finally going to start tonight. So let's go get our little short story that we're going to be starting with. And here it is. And it's called The Fruit Fly. I know it might be a strange topic for your first um, online reading comprehension exercise, but it's the one I chose. So let's get going. Okay, so The Fruit Fly. One day last summer, when I was in my kitchen making lunch, I noticed that there was a fruit fly flying around and really bothering me. I realized that I didn't know anything about this little fly, so I decided to do a little research and find out something about it. First of all, this is what it looks like. And here is that little fruit fly. Fruit flies can be yellow, brown, tan, or black, or a combination of these colors. They have red eyes and are about 2.5 millimeters in length. So they're very small. Because their red eyes are very sensitive to light, any slight differences to the lighting, including mood, shadow movements, and intensity are easily detected by the fruit fly. Any slight changes will cause it to quickly and instinctively fly away. This is the reason why they are so difficult to swat. Now, if there are any words in these reading comprehension exercises that you don't understand, I want you guys to put the video on pause, write the word in your vocabulary list, translate it to your language, and of course, study this list every day. Fruit flies can be found in your home at any time of the year, but they are more common in the summer or in the early fall because of the abundance of ripened or fermenting fruits and vegetables. And here is a picture of some rotting and fermenting tomatoes. This looks terrible to us, but it looks delicious to fruit flies. Besides in your home, fruit flies can also be found in grocery stores, restaurants, garbage cans, empty soda bottles, and drains. Surprisingly, they can also be found on items in your home that contain any leftover residue, such as damp mops, sponges, or cleaning rags. <clears throat> Excuse me, basically, you can find these little pests anywhere that offers fermenting material. Their favorite fruit foods are over-ripened or rotting tomatoes, bananas, squash, potatoes, mushrooms, grapes, melons, and even fruit juice or other sugary drinks. Even if you are very careful and you cover or refrigerate your produce, you can still find them in your home because they can come home with you from the grocery store on previously infested fruits or vegetables. They may also enter your home from outside through open windows and doors or through damaged or broken screens. Male fruit flies attract females with music that they make by gently vibrating their wings. Females lay their eggs on the surface of moist organic material 
like rotting fruits and vegetables, and they can lay up to 35 to 40 eggs at a time. The larvae hatch within 24 hours and then feed on the fermenting material. Now here is the life cycle of a fruit fly and it has four stages. First is the embryo, then the larva, then the pupa, and then of course the adult. And we can see from this picture how it all starts with the egg to the larva, to the pupa, and then to the adult. There you have it, the life cycle of a fruit fly. This life cycle is completed in only one week. The lifespan of the adult fruit fly is approximately 50 days. This means that the reproductive potential is enormous and a female can lay as many as 2,000 eggs in her lifetime. Fruit flies will also lay their eggs under the lids of canned fruits and vegetables, as well as under the covers of bottles of wine and beer. When preparing your own preserves or alcoholic beverages, be sure that your bottles, lids, and covers are very well sterilized and dried and that your bottles or containers are tightly sealed. These little flies are a nuisance and may contaminate the food in your home with bacteria. When ingested, this bacteria may cause stomach cramps or even illness. The best way to avoid having an infestation in your home is to eliminate any sources of attraction. Any overripened fruits and vegetables should be discarded or refrigerated, and any parts of the produce that are damaged or rotting should be cut off and discarded into a covered container and placed outside the home. See here in this picture? This mother and daughter are putting their banana peels in a plastic bin and then they will take them outside. Throwing fruits and vegetables in the garbage can in your home is like having a free, all-inclusive, very big family vacation at a five-star resort for these little fruit flies. They love when you do that, when you put all of your waste material, organic waste material in your garbage can in your home. Keep in mind that just one rotting banana can produce thousands of fruit flies. Look at this banana is on its way out. It's almost in the process of rotting. If infestation occurs and you see fruit flies in your home, you can easily remedy this unpleasant situation. First, you must locate the area from which they are emerging. This may be from your garbage can, the drain, or a bowl of basket, oh, wait a second, or, a, or from a bowl or basket of fruit on your counter. Once you locate the area, you can then remove the source. Once the source has been removed and discarded and the area has been cleaned and disinfected, you can then use an aerosol insecticide to kill the remaining pests. Fruit fly traps can also be used in busy kitchens. You can buy one at your local store or you can easily make your own. To make your own fruit fly trap, simply take a jar and 
place a small piece of rotting banana or a piece of lemon and a teaspoon of sugar at the bottom. Make a paper funnel with a small hole at the bottom of the funnel and place the funnel in the jar. Place tape around the top of the jar to secure the funnel in place and eliminate any avenues of escape. The fruit flies will enter the jar through the funnel to get to that delicious rotting banana or lemon slice and they won't be able to escape from the jar. And there you have it. That is your fruit, your homemade fruit fly trap. Very effective. Once trapped, you can then set them free outside. They will come back in if you haven't sealed or repaired your doors, windows, cracks, and broken screens. Or you can kill them with a pesticide spray or they will eventually die in the jar, but probably not before laying more eggs in there on the fermenting fruit. If you choose to kill them with a pesticide spray, be sure to only use pesticides that are approved and sold in your local stores and always be sure to read and follow the directions written on the label carefully before using. And there we have it, your very first reading comprehension exercise. Well, I hope that that helped you. If it did, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more lessons. You can put a like on the video and you can leave a comment down below. If you guys want to improve your English quickly, you can get yourselves a copy of, you know it, Basic English, the third edition, published by McGraw-Hill and available everywhere, including Amazon, of course. If you get a copy of this workbook, I want you guys to start on the first page, complete every page right through to the end of the book. The answer key is at the back to support you while you are learning, and it will help you a lot. There's so much in this workbook. If you guys are having difficulty with your verb tenses, you can get yourselves a copy of, here it is, English Verb Tenses. Also available on Amazon. If you get a copy of this book, I also want you to start on the first page and complete every page right through to the end of the workbook. Answer key is also at the back to support you while you are learning. Um, there are many lessons on my YouTube channel for you, so you can flip through those, do the ones you feel you need some help with, or better yet, do them all. Um, also, I have a Facebook page. It's called Learn English with Julie Lachance, and I put up a lot of things over there that also help you with your English learning. Okay, so for now, I am going to wish you guys a very pleasant evening. And I'll see you in the next lesson or reading comprehension. Okay, good night for now.